Hey everyone, welcome to Mopa Through My Lens. My name is Kevin, and I'm here today to invite everybody to participate in an activity inspired by one of the artists that's currently in one of our exhibitions at the museum. I want to thank everybody for joining us virtually, since we can't all meet up at the museum right now. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, and for today's activity, hopefully you got a chance to see the email that went out earlier. Uh, if you didn't, go ahead over to mopa.org and sign up. Um, and in the email, we sort of give you a quick preview of what's coming up, what the activity is going to be like, and we'll be doing this activity on Fridays at 1 p.m. And each week we'll take a look at a different artist or a different technique and then show you a demonstration of just how all of you can do it wherever you may be. Um, so for today, the activity is pairing drawing and words with photography. Now, a lot of times we're familiar with that um, simply by writing in the margin of a photograph, right? Uh, or maybe we flip over the photo when we write on it. Um, or, of course, nowadays, most of us have a caption or a title uh, when we're posting something online. It could be to Facebook, Instagram, uh, wherever we like to post our photos. There's a really fun way, though, that we can combine the two uh, and a lot of times it's um, to be able to kind of have fun with what you're seeing in the photograph or what you're seeing in your surroundings. Uh, and by pairing it with some drawing uh, or some words, you can change the meaning or add meaning to the photograph. Um, the wonderful thing about today's activity is that you don't need any special equipment for it. Uh, really what you just need is uh, you need some fun markers, uh, and preferably they're uh, not permanent markers. Um, these are just some fun colors that I got to pick out, uh, and you'll also need a window uh, looking out to the outside, uh, and of course you'll need your phone or your camera of choice. Phones are great because you can snap a photo of it and then you can share it right away. Um, so before we dive into some examples of the activity for today, um, really all these activities are inspired by either an artist that's in an exhibition at MOPA or it's an artist or work that we have in our collection, right? The museum has over 9,000 photographs by all sorts of different artists that are part of our collection. And those are really fun because we can look at an artist and the way they make photographs or the way they take photographs. Uh, and we can all get some inspiration for some of our own projects. Um, so let's take a look at one artist who's part of our current exhibition, Out of the Shadows. And that exhibition features all contemporary artists and photographers from China. Uh, and this artist's name is Chu Chu. And what Chu Chu does is she actually writes in the shadows of the photographs that she takes. Um, and I have a quick example here that's going to go ahead and pop up. Um, and we can see how she's in her studio, she's using a brush, a calligraphy brush, uh, and she's going ahead and she's actually filling in the shadows. So she'll take a photograph of maybe a tree branch uh, or something in nature, and then what she'll go ahead and do is she'll actually use that brush to write or to draw characters in the shadows. So from a distance, it looks like a beautiful branch with this beautiful shadow, but then when you get closer, it actually has writing in it. Uh, and you can kind of look at all the different details and everything. Um, so really neat example um, for us to be able to look to. Um, and so for today, <clears throat> we have um, some of our uh, friends at MOPA went ahead and put together some resources for us. Um, and what it is, is it's gonna show us how we can all do the same activity or a similar activity at home. Um, the wonderful thing about photography and about all art is that you can put your own take on it and you can put your own approach on it. Um, so let's go ahead real quick and take a look at some examples of how we could do an activity that's kind of like choo-choo, right? Incorporating writing or drawing, um, but something we can all do at home. So. What you'll want to do is first is you'll want to go ahead and grab those markers uh, right here. Uh, and then you'll want to go ahead and 
Find a Sunny Window. Here we have Chantal Lane, our Manager of Youth and Visitor Engagement at MOPA. Uh, and here's just a window at home that she chose to use. Um, it's great because it's looking out over uh, some really nice greenery and some plants and everything. Um, and then you're gonna go ahead and take those markers. And here we have Anna Lane youth artist and you can see Anna's starting to draw with a black marker right there uh, on the window and again parents not to worry um, you can certainly go ahead and wash this down with a simple bit of uh, warm water uh, or you can use um, Windex or something like that to go ahead and take it off so it's definitely non-permanent um, but now we can see Anna she's filling in some of those details um, and so Anna chose a flower for this example. You can do lots of different combinations though. This is where the fun part really starts though, is that here we have Anna going out and now Anna's on the other side of the window, right? Chantal's inside, Anna's outside, and we can see how it's gonna all come together in a final photograph. Um, so this is really neat, because then we can see how you can play with filters, uh, you can play with um, different framing, you can do a portrait like this. Um, and what I love is, again, um, really your imagination um, is, is what can go ahead and take you through um, to really have fun with all these different components. Um, you can do something like this that's like a flower, uh, or what you could go ahead and do is, um, you can do something that's a little more abstract. You can kind of paint gradients or do colors over top, and then use your phone to photograph through the window. Um, and some things you can keep in mind is, um, you know, what are the things that you see out your window? Uh, maybe you have a neighbor's yard. Um, that's a really nice yard, but uh, you might want to add some of your own landscaping to it. So you can go ahead and you can draw a tree or a flower, maybe even a field of flowers. And then when you photograph the window, and what's outside of it, suddenly the two come together in really interesting ways. And that's where you can really have fun with this activity. Um, I wanna make sure everybody has a chance to ask some questions or some comments. So make sure to go ahead and leave your comments there uh, and we'll go ahead and uh, get to address those right here with you. Um, also, what's really great about this activity and lots of other kinds of photo activities um, is that you don't need that much special equipment, right? Um, lots of us are probably inside our houses, right? With windows looking out to the outside. Um, and lots of us have these kinds of materials laying around. Um, and so again, just sort of having fun um, and putting your own personal touch on any of the photographs that you take by adding this combination. Uh, one thing that we didn't get to cover in the examples though, is you could also do this with words. Um, maybe something outside your window makes you think of a particular uh, word or it makes you feel a certain way. Um, you can go ahead and use that uh, marker, write a little bit, maybe it's one word, maybe it's a phrase um, or a quote, and then you can photograph through that as well. Um, again, sort of these really interesting ways to combine images and words. So when you do this activity at home, uh, make sure you go ahead and share your photos with us. Uh, you can share them with us on Instagram or on Facebook at MOPA SD. Um, and then also make sure if you really like the way your photo turned out, make sure to submit to our youth exhibition. Every year, MOPA puts out a call uh, to students K through 12 around San Diego and also in Tijuana, and we put out a call for all of you to respond to a theme. Um, and so this year, the theme is growing up. So you get to use photography to tell all of us, to show all of us what growing up means to you. Uh, so maybe this activity or this process is a great one for you to uh, put together a work that really speaks to that. And then of course, 
because we're all off-site and we're all virtual right now, uh, we can't be with you at the museum. Um, we hope to be with you at the museum again soon. Um, and so if you like this activity, make sure to check out our summer camps. Um, you'll find all the information on our website and uh, at mopa.org. Uh, and in our summer camps, they're Monday through Friday, all throughout the summer. And we get to invite everyone to do activities like this. So pairing images and words, but other things we explore. Uh, we explore motion and stop motion animation. We'll explore uh, doing some really fun and funky things with photographs that we print out uh, and have at home. Uh, we'll also do some really fun activities with portraiture um, and with still life and looking at all these different ways that we can use photography. So again, make sure to check out mopa.org for all our information on our youth exhibition, but also on our summer camps as well. Um, so again, I wanna give a chance for everybody to ask some questions, maybe something you're curious about, maybe a fun sort of combination of things. Um, and let's go back through these images again real quick, just to go ahead and again, see Anna's work here. And I really love this one because, again, it's so simple. It really just uses um, a couple different markers um, and, again, a window to the outside world. Um, and, again, what a perfect activity when we're all at home right now, or most of us are at home. Uh, and really, the wonderful thing is that, again, you don't need any sort of special uh, equipment or anything to be able to do this activity. And of course, because we're all here off-site as well, uh, usually when you come visit the museum, we're pay what you wish donation, um, which means we really just recommend a donation of what you think is, uh, is, is, is appropriate for visiting the museum. Um, but because we can't, any, we can't uh, be at the museum right now, we encourage all of you, if you like this activity, and if you'd like to keep tuning in on Fridays at 1 p.m. for these sort of fun lessons, um, go ahead and go to mopa.org slash support, um, and you can make your pay what you wish donation virtually. Um, I want to thank everybody for joining us today. Um, I'm really looking forward to joining all of you at 1 p.m. Uh, next week, we have a really, really cool activity lined up, looking at still life in particular. Uh, and again, something that you can do at home in the comfort of your home with things that you have laying around. Um, and again, check out mopa.org, our youth exhibition, and our summer camps. Uh, and if you like this video, make sure to leave a comment below uh, and head on over to mopa.org support. Thanks everybody for joining today, and I look forward to seeing all of you again Friday at 1 p.m. next week.